So as a lead author on this IPCC special report on land and climate change, um, you know, we're all volunteers. So we're devoting our nights and weekends to assessing the scientific literature. And I've lost a lot of sleep about what the science is saying. It's, as a person, it's pretty scary. And there's a lot of work to be done. Like, how would you? We need to act urgently. And all of us as volunteers are united in this cause of making sure that, that policymakers understand the risk to humans and to ecosystems, and to make sure those policymakers, as well as citizens, my kids, people on the street, that they really know that they have options. Have options in things like social protection, making sure... What can everybody do? Fortunately, the nature of the problem of changing climate and land change is so big, there's really something for all of us to do together. People, sectors like agriculture, governments need to get away the bad and do more of the good. And we know what those things are. The science tells us what kinds of solutions we have and how we can do those solutions. The risks to food security are growing. It's one of the major messages from our chapter and from the report. This is because we're looking now not just at availability and how climate change is, is already affecting availability and will those increased risks will grow, but we're also looking now at supply chains, the risk of increasing extreme events, heat waves, storms, coastal flooding on the supply chains of our, our our food. Bioenergy, soil carbon sequestration. Uh, uh, food loss and waste represents 25 to 30 percent of the food that is produced globally. So therefore, right there, there's just a lot we can do to, um, to, to reduce our food loss and waste. That will free up land so that we can then be working on conserving um, uh, biodiversity, can, uh, lowering greenhouse gases, soil carbon sequestration, potentially bioenergy. Um, I think it talks about everything, but I would like to see it stronger on the biodiversity co-benefits because it explores the trade-offs. Of course, we have trade-offs for water, for, for people, and for food production, and I would like stronger consideration of biodiversity. Made by you know, President Bolsonaro, I mean, his... Biodiversity means, you know, all beings that we have on Earth, animals, plants, and even humans, so the diversity of beings that depend on the land to survive. So that's why it's so important that a land report also addresses this issue.